This news update is brought to you by... Everyone's looking for more space. How many pairs of shoes do you need? Closet space. Circle again, I think I see one. Parking space. And that is how Pythagoras' theorem works, understand? Even headspace. But when it comes to data storage, MyCloud from Lime has plenty of room for you. Upgrade to a Lime data plan of 500 megs or more and get 3 gigs of MyCloud data storage free. It's great for storing photos, music, and much more. So don't delete it. Store it on MyCloud from Lime. It's the only space to be. Upgrade to Lime! Welcome to the Bobby the City Afternoon Update. It's Friday, January 30th, 2015. Thanks for joining us. I'm Fernanda Wedderburn. Our top story, the former client of House Speaker Michael Carrington says he's still waiting word from his lawyer on whether the monies ordered to him by Carrington have been paid. John Griffiths tells Barbados today he has been trying to get in contact with his attorney Kamal Kalimar after he had received word that the money had been deposited but has not been successful. Carrington has been under intense public scrutiny during the last few weeks in connection with a near quarter million dollar debt order to Griffiths in a civil case that has been unresolved for close to 14 years. In other news, opposition leader Mia Motley is demanding answers from the Frondel Stewart administration on its million dollar injection into the sugar industry. Earlier this week, Prime Minister Frondel Stewart revealed that sugar farmers would be paid monies ordered to them from an overall $72 million incentive program for planters. But the opposition leader says while she is happy that the farmers are getting what is ordered to them, she is questioning why the government is investing $500 million in a sugar factory for an industry that is on the decline. Is this not more to do with the Prime Minister's own survival? At a time when the government is unable to meet the legitimate demands of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, the thousands of students at UWA and the well-being of so many sectors, the scale of this project cannot be propelled on a political basis. Where is the cost-benefit analysis for the factory? Where is the environmental impact assessment? Is this the best way to execute the project? Or should the private sector and farmers be encouraged to invest themselves in a smaller factory? that is more suited to the current scale of the sugar industry. Motley also made it clear that the scale of the proposed sugar project should not be based on politics. This government's behavior has led to a further erosion of confidence in an industry that we must not allow to die, but equally must not be used as a political panacea for government's political problems. It is urgent that the farmers receive what is owed to them as so many Barbadians ought to receive what is owed to them, but in so doing to ensure that we do not literally bring the end to an industry that has been around this country for centuries. Some of the Nigerian students under the Delta State program are urging the Barbados government not to take any action against them. The plea comes as some of the 87 try to clear the air about the controversy surrounding their stay here. In an interview with Barbados Today, they revealed that much of what was reported in the media about their accommodations at the Casa Grande Hotel in St. Philip were untruths by some of their colleagues. One of the students, Peter KK, assured the country that they are peaceful students who are only interested in developing new skills and learning the Barbadian culture. So I'm um, just here to say that they should be not annoyed with us for whatever our part of students members have done. They went to the media without our consent. Nobody sent them to be there. And immediately we enter this town, we are like waiting to hear from our governments before we take any action. Like some people took their own action without nobody informed them to do so. So that is disrespect to our governments. And our deputy governor came down here to address the issue we are fixing on the ground, which he did. But still yet, these children are there creating more problems, which our government have assured us that they are going to take action towards that. Mm -hmm. So we are begging Barbados government to have patience with us and let them never take necessary action against us. A veteran player in the local entertainment industry is calling for the establishment of a dedicated Calypso and Soca radio station. 
Wayne Punka Willock believes that such a station would create more opportunities for the genre to be heard locally and internationally outside of the crop over season. Imagine by put out a CD with 10 songs. Now throughout the whole of crop over, three or four might play. And the other six gone by the wayside. And if you play one of those in 2015, you will swear it's a new song. Because people never heard it. We need a radio station that will play local music all the time. We have enough music on record and in the archives that you don't even have to play the same song twice in a year. And we have enough music. But will we get there? Will we have the support um, that by was talking about of the persons with the, with the funds in Barbados will fund a radio station that will have Barbadian music all the time. It could even be some folk music in there. There are lots of folk music in Barbados that is unheard. This regional and international news after this short break. To sports now and defending champions Queen's College will go up against Springer Memorial in the final of the National Sports Council's Wibisco sponsored girls schools basketball tournament next Tuesday at the Wilde Gymnasium. The teams were victorious following the semi-final games which were played at the gymnasium yesterday. In the first semi-final, Queen's College came from behind to win a thriller 48-44 over a Graydon Sealy side that led during the first three quarters 7-6. 1916 and 32 and 33 32. In the second match between Combermay and Spring Memorial, the girls from Government Hill led from the start until the final whistle to win 59 41, with the first three quarters going 89 30 23 and 45 34. To news from the region, and the St. Kitts Nevis government today met in an emergency session after the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court granted an interim injunction barring any action from being taken on new constituency boundaries pending an appeal of the ruling of the High Court. According to a cabinet statement, the meeting will consider the Court of Appeals decision to halt general elections after writs were issued, nomination and election days set. Justice Marlin Carter had ruled on Tuesday that, signing, uh, that the signing of the proclamation changing boundaries and its subsequent gazetting on January 16 was in order. The Court of Appeal is scheduled to hand down the ruling on February 9. And finally, on the international scene, militants have launched an attack on the oil-producing northern Iraqi city of Kirkut. According to the CNN report, there had been recent speculation that ISIS might attack Kirkut to force Kurdish troops to divert their efforts away from Mosul. The ISIS assault on Kirkuk isn't really a surprise. The Kurds and ISIS have been facing off in the area west of Kirkuk ever since ISIS rolled over much of western Iraq last year and the Iraqi army fled. But Kirkuk is an extremely significant place, and the main reason for that is that it's got gigantic oil reserves. In fact, the oil reserves in that part of Iraq are almost as big as the oil fields in the south of Iraq, and it is a big prize that the Kurds and other groups have wanted to get their hands on for a very long time. And with that, we come to the end of our afternoon edition, but you can join us again this evening. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbudestoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and and gas stations near you. Also tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV as well as Mix 96.9 FM to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. Have an enjoyable Friday. This news update is
brought to you by Everyone's looking for more space How many pairs of shoes do you need? Closet space Circle again, I think I see one Parking space And that is how Pythagoras theorem works, understand? Even headspace. But when it comes to data storage, MyCloud from Lime has plenty of room for you. Upgrade to a Lime data plan of 500 megs or more and get 3 gigs of MyCloud data storage free. It's great for storing photos, music, and much more. So don't delete it. Store it on MyCloud from Lime. It's the only space to be.